Hello everyone, my name is Maggie and welcome to Maggie Really Reads. So today I am going to be recommending I Hate Everyone But You. It's a recent favorite trope of mine. As speaking as an introvert that I am, if you guys don't know, I am very, very introverted. I am, what is it? My anagram is INFJ. Apparently it's like this unique personality trait or personality type. I don't know, but apparently I'm awesome and I agree. <laughs> I'm joking. I mean, I am also, but anyways, if you read in the title below, you know, you know what I'm going to recommend. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are doing fine. You guys are well. You guys are reading awesome books. Let me know what you guys are reading and what your favorite read has been this month, last month, this month, whenever you're watching this video, let me know comment down below i'm always waiting for you guys's comments um so yeah let's start so the first book that i'm gonna recommend is bloody heart by sophie lark this is the fourth book in the brutal birthright series this is this is one of my favorite books of hers well in this series i have three favorites and this might be my third favorite i don't know but this one is about simone and dante dante is just man you just want to give him like this big ass hug he's like this a giant of a man he's so intimidating but he's so soft and he's so gooey he's just he's always been in love with simone simone is a black character she is um an ambassador's daughter i think um and she meets dante um when he climbs into her limo and kind of kidnaps her well not really but he takes the car with her and they just start this romance together um it's so beautiful bloody heart literally this book is about Dante's bloody heart it's so sad the way he loves her the way he waits for her the way his heart is just bleeding for her it's just it's amazing so this book fits the I hate everyone but you and in terms of Dante, everyone is like afraid of him. So no one really talks to him and he's kind of a loner, um, but he's kind. He's kind to everyone, but he's still intimidating. Like he's just this big, like a scary looking man, as you can see from the picture. And literally the only thing he sees, the only thing he loves is Simone. I mean, he loves his family, but Simone is like number one. Um, Yeah check out the trigger warnings and that's all i'm gonna say it is a mafia romance by the way so the next book i'm gonna recommend is my soul to take by kennedy ryan this has three books in the series i don't know what the series is called i forgot I blanked out is it is it taken series no something series um this is about Reason bryson i always say bryson but it's not bryson like guys i'm just i'm just not white like that i don't know how to say his name i'm black bro literally how do you pronounce his name Bryson. 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 something we'll call him r he is bristol's brother so if you've read the grip trilogy you know bristol um this is her brother's book with kai kai is an aspiring singer songwriter she's poor like they always are these girls are always poor i don't know why but they always poor <laughs> it's not funny but it's funny um reason is just like this He's like the piano's prodigy. He is just amazing. He's the prodigal son of the music world, of the piano world. And it is a really good book. Reason hates everyone. He hates his parents. He doesn't trust anyone. And when he meets her, he's like, oh, she's just like the rest of them. They just want my money. They just want my fame. They want to use me. He literally hates everyone hates everyone just listen to my voice don't pay attention to the people who are laughing downstairs yeah just listen to my voice um yeah this book fits that i hate everyone but you when he falls in love with kai he literally is like you're the only thing i see the only one i want even though she's like i just want to be friends because she still wants to be a singer and like if she's his girlfriend he's always going to be known she's always going to be known as his girlfriend and nobody wants that everybody wants to 
be praised for their talent and it's just it's a sweet romance it's three books it gets you pressed on the grip and it's amazing you should read this one the next book i'm gonna recommend is a historical romance is the it's the duchess deal by tissa dare this, this was my first ever historical like my first this book when i tell you i read it in four hours like i remember i read it at 8 a.m and i finished it at like 12 13. this book was amazing like if you want to start with historicals please start with this one this book um has a scarred hero i think he's scarred from the military or something he has like burns and he walks with the cane i love the romance i love the hero i love the heroine the way the heroine takes care of him and it's just so accommodating to him because you know he's like a man and he's just like i oh, know i'm okay when he really isn't okay um it's just amazing so she, when they meet she's wearing a wedding dress she's like um you have to pay for this wedding dress because he was supposed to marry someone else i think i might have the details wrong but he was supposed to marry someone else if i'm not mistaken and the wedding doesn't go like it the wedding is all for something and then he decides to marry her um so she can be so she can have his kids and she'll just have she'll just live the good life you know, you know it quickly turns into love well she falls in love with him really really hard and this book is amazing i'll never forget this book ever in my life you see the smile my cheeks hurt from i love this book even though some people will say it's not that good i think it is it is good if like you are a beginner if you are a beginner there are books that are like better or like more acclaimed but this one you can go to battle with the best of the books i think so in my opinion i don't know i don't know and the next book i'm gonna recommend is waking olivia by elizabeth o'rourke o'rourke i'm not doing this again um this one is a coach and an athlete romance not like balance but she is a runner he is her running coach and it's just amazing this book is so good they remind me of this like this old married couple that just shits on everything and shits on everyone and hates everything they just remind me of that because they're just so grumpy together she hates everyone he hates everyone they just like are a perfect perfect match and i'm not like saying like they hate everyone but they just very guarded they do not want to be around people but when they with each other or when they finally are with each other it's like it's all they see and this book you should read it it's so so good um and last but not least the next book that i'm going to recommend is lessons in sin by Pam godwin this book i think this book is really good i think this book is just as good as dark notes i know pam godwin is known for dark notes by lessons in sin this book is really good it has father magnus and tinsley tinsley is just like this bold brat and father magnus is like baby girl I, i'm not gonna take your crap today or any other day he is reserved i heard that it's really similar to priest so if you liked priest this book will fit perfectly i hear that from what i've been hearing and what i've been reading um i haven't read priest i know i know i will read it i will read it sometime this year um so yeah that is all i have for today thank you guys so much for watching let me know if i missed a book or there's a book with this trope that i would love thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time bye